Okay guys, today we're going to be looking at our jurying process, how we select the artwork that's featured in the juried student art exhibition. Let's dig in. Now as a reminder, this year's exhibition is Home Is, the 2021 juried student art exhibition, and it's going to be on view here at the Stark Museum of Art, March 16th through May 15th, 2021. I'm Jennifer Ristari Dickinson, Director, Education here at the Stark Museum of Art, and I'll be guiding you through this process. Now, the people who judge your artwork are called jurors, and each artwork is looked at by three jurors, and they score each one independently. Now, artwork is juried in three categories, grades four and five, grades six through eight, and grades nine through twelve. So a fourth grade work is not going to be competing against a sixth grade work, and an eighth grade work isn't going to be competing against a twelfth grade work. So hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more. Further, I want to let you know that when we put out all of these entries that we receive, we actually group them by grade. So all of the fourth grade entries would go together, and then all of the fifth grade entries would go together. Same at the high school level. All of the ninth grade entries, all of the 10th grade entries, all of the 11th grade entries, and all of the 12th grade entries. This helps our jurors see what the skill sets are among the students who submit their entries. Now, our jurors score your artwork using a scoring system of zero to four. That means zero is a limited skill, one is an emerging skill, two is an average skill, three is an above average skill, and four is an exceptional skill. And each artwork is scored in four areas. Skillful use of chosen medium, that's commensurate with your grade level. So we're not expecting a fourth grader to do what a 12th grader does. The composition and design of the work you've made, your artist statement, and creativity. Now I want to make sure I shout out that we have another video on artist statements specifically to help you get the best score possible on those artist statements. So be sure to check that out. Here you can see an example of what our juror sheet looks like. All of our jury sheets go back to the teachers and students after the exhibition. So you get that feedback in real time. Now I wanted to show you this because it gives you an idea of what you'll receive. I also wanted to show that there's space for comments because sometimes our jurors will give you some great feedback. Now each artwork is going to receive a score of up to 48 points. Once we have all artwork scored in a category, then we begin selecting works for the exhibition. And that's going to start with the highest score until the maximum number of works is selected. So, the total number of artworks in our exhibition every year can never exceed 100, but the number of entries per category is determined by the ratio of entries for the exhibition. For example, if I received 300 entries from high school students and 600 entries total, 50% of my entries would need to be from high school students. Now, one thing we all love are awards. So let me tell you a little bit about the awards that we give here for our juried student art exhibition. The first award that we give out is called a merit award. And this is given to the stop, top scoring artist in each grade category. So there's a merit award winner in fourth and fifth, sixth through eighth, ninth through 12th grades. The next award we give is called a Director's Choice Award. This is selected by our Executive Director, Stark Art and History Venues, and their artworks that represent outstanding achievements in art for that selected category. No more than two of these awards will be given per category. So we can have up to two Director's Choice Awards in 4th and 5th, 6th through 8th, and 9th through 12th. And then our final award is what we call our Signature Image Award. And this is given to one artist whose artwork is selected to illustrate the exhibition and featured in marketing collateral of the exhibition. Here you can see an entry from Ashley Aldridge at Vider High School last, for last year's juried student art exhibition, Follow the Line. Her artwork was featured on our invitations, on all of the digital exhibition materials, as well as all the physical exhibit materials. It is a great honor to be selected as the signature image. It means that your artwork met all of the criteria and really was the best example of that year's theme. 
Now, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we're not gonna be able to offer a juried art reception this year, but physical awards will be mailed or delivered to your teachers to get to you. So hopefully your teachers will be able to incorporate, or incorporate your awards either into your campus awards day or maybe a special award ceremony just for you. Now, that's all I have for you today for jurying. Before I go, I do wanna encourage you to consider practicing jurying with your classmates. That's a great way to get some feedback from your classmates about how you can push your art along. Your teachers have access to those jury rubrics as well as our score sheets. So please don't be afraid to use those. All right, thank you for spending some time with me today to look at how we select works for our jury student art exhibition. I hope this helps you, um, and I really encourage you to use those rubrics and jurying sheets to score your work as well as maybe your peers' works to get some practice in on that and see where there are areas that maybe you can push further and experiment more. Good luck, and I can't wait to see your entries.